Hi, welcome to Plastic on Plastics. My name is Tristan and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between post-consumer material and post-industrial material. And of course we're talking about waste. Now, what is PCR, post-consumer recyclables, or post-consumer waste? Well, this is the waste that is being thrown out into our blue recycled containers. So anything you recycle at home is considered PCR. This also includes some waste that's ending up in our landfills and our oceans. However, post-industrial recyclables are any waste that is created during the manufacturing process. This may include little pieces of plastic that aren't used during the final product, or perhaps shards of material that is thrown off by machines after the manufacturing process. A lot of injection molders use 100% recycled materials in their products. However, this 100% recyclable waste may be coming straight from industry. Therefore, it's a lot cleaner and easier to work with. At Plascom Plastics, we can do both. In fact, most of our systems here at Plascom Plastics are operating on closed loop solutions. This means when pieces of plastic aren't used in the final product, they get sent to a different container and that gets sucked down, grinded and used again to make more and more containers. So here's some of the robotic takeoff of some of the some of the parts and they, these actually are part of the process that creates the parts and they go directly into a grinder here and actually recycles the plastic and actually puts it right back into the process as well. So a closed loop system. So 100% of the material in the manufacturing process is used. Additionally, we use PCR. We have the technology to use old carpets, old tires, uh, blue box recyclables to take all these different types of materials, whether it be dirty, clean, in the ocean, or straight from the recycling plant, and we can use this to make new materials. So what are the benefits of this? Well, cost reduction. It costs a lot less to use recycled waste than virgin materials. And because we can use so many different kinds of recycled waste, we can keep costs of our products very, very minimal compared to our competitors. Additionally, we can help you get PCR into your products. As more consumers get educated on how recycling works, they're going to want ocean plastics, landfill plastics, plastics that they come in contact with to be in their products. This is the only way to get our plastic pollution problem under control, is to take plastics from our ecosystem and use them into brand new products. I hope this video helped explain the difference between PCR and PIR, and if you have any additional questions, there's more info in the description below.